Hi everyone, welcome back to the Organized Notebook. Today we would like to share how to organize your reading digitally. It can make your reading more meaningful when you can store data of books you've read, want to read, and more. Let's go over how to use our template from Gumroad. We like to keep a digital book library using Notion. Before you can download our template, make sure you have a Notion account. We'll leave a link to Notion in the description. You can download our template from our website using Gumroad. We also provide this link below. Click the Gumroad button and fill in the information. Once it's filled in, you'll get redirected to the template. Click the duplicate button. You'll need to either log into your Notion account or it may redirect you automatically. Let's customize your inspiring reading space. When you first download our template, you can personalize your space by choosing your favorite book cover and quote. There's also a section for reading goals and resources. Let's go over how to add books. We'll start by adding the book Crying in H Mart, which is in memoir. If your book doesn't have a pre-existing genre, you'll need to add this first. Go to Browse by Genre and click Plus New. Choose a cover photo, title the genre, and add an icon if you'd like. Then, click the template for genre. Next, let's go over how to add the book. When you have the genre, you can add a book inside the genre. Click plus new to add the book. We recommend opening the book as a new page to fill in the information. Once you're in the books page, add the cover photo. We recommend using a link to the book's cover. Next, add the title of the book. Fill in the status. Enter the start date. You can add the finish date when you finish the book. Next, there's a place for adding the author. The rating can be added at the end when you finish the book. You can add a link to the book, for example, from a review site or an online bookshop. Next, you can also choose the reading format. A unique feature of this template is that you can also add a bookmark. This is calculated automatically when you add the total pages on your current page. Let's go over how to add a reading reflection. When you finish the book, you can add the finish date and rate the book. Next, you can also fill in a reflection template. Go into the books page and open the template. Write your reviews. Fill in the questions to reflect on the book. Let's go over how the books are displayed. Now that you know how to add a book, we wanted to cover how the books are displayed in this template. Remember that you're more than welcome to change the different filter settings to fit your own needs. For now, you can see books by reading now and want to read. You can also see all the books you've read this year. Books can also be browsed by genre. Finally, there is a list of all books in your digital library. Thank 
you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about how to organize your reading digitally. Let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Subscribe us for more productivity and organization related videos. See you in the next one.